Hey you guys, so today we're going to review Tymo Hair Straightening Comb. So this one is their pink, like little pink and gold. You can also have other colors. I got this at Target because I love me some Target. But so it came with this. This is what the box, the front of the box looks like. So it's the Tymo Rain Hair Straightening Comb. It comes with a manual. It comes with a glove. It comes with this, which I was like, this is supposed to be like a brush or a comb or something, a brush, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> it also comes with this cute, silky, like satchel thing that you put in the comb. And then it comes with these, I'm like looking down here. It comes with these two Tymo clips. So I am going to straighten my hair. So I stretched it out yesterday after washing it and deep conditioning it. So I'm gonna use it and we're gonna see how well it works. I have 4A, 4B type hair, if you really wanna know, and my hair is not very long. So we're gonna see how well it works. All right, so I'm using the little cute, soft-ish, plasticky, brush on my hair to kind of help it go through the straightening comb. All right, I have it on level four. There's five levels and it talks about the details in the manual. Basically, it tells you. So level four is for normal or slightly curly hair. Um, and then they have the different levels. So soft and thin level one, level two is thin, fire bleached. Level three is dried or dark colored hair. Level four, I just told you. And level five is thick, curly, and wavy hair. Well, I'm starting with level four. If I need to go up or down a level, I can. Um, my hair texture is pretty soft. I don't have thick hair. It might look like I do, but I really don't. See? Okay. It's cute. <laughs> All right, so from root to tip, I should have worn contacts, y'all. So I don't have to worry about my glasses getting in the way. It feels hot. And my ear is right here. Chow. I am not want to burn myself. Okay. <laughs> I'm telling you. For real. All right. Okay. This is three to five seconds. I feel like it's been. Yeah. It's too. That's not bad. It's just the bottom is so. Let me just get my bottom better <laughs> of my hair. Hold on. All right. I tried detangling it some more, but it the struggle is weird. The weird. The struggle is real. Um, I already did one pass. I could tell it straightened it quite a bit. Um, you know what? Maybe I should pump it up a level. Pump the jam. Pump it up. So I'm going to pump it up another level. It might take a couple minutes, but... Put the handy dandy glove back on because I had to detangle. This is kind of cute and I do like it. And I was using this and like fine tooth rat tail comb. Probably not the best for my hair type, but you know, we got to do what we got to do. So see that? That's going to catch. But you know, I, you know, let's, let's just try it again, okay? I, I tried detangling it a little bit. And I'm not used to straightening my hair. I'm just not even like doing my hair. But okay, second round. Here we go. Okay, that's a little better. Definitely hot. Definitely the heat reminds me of a straightening comb back in the day when your mom does it. I couldn't stand that, y'all. Couldn't stand it. Okay. But this one feels a little less scary. It's not an actual comb comb, you know what I mean? Like back in the day, your mom put it on the um, on the stove. Oh, I hated those days. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. Three passes. That's what it looks like. Three passes. But my little kink kinks at the end. Not terrible. Not terrible for my hair. And mind you, I did get a cut. I did get like a trim a few weeks ago at a curly hair salon. So... All right, you guys don't need me to do all of it. I'll start doing probably the, the bottom half of my hair and then I'll come back and show you guys. Yeah, 
You don't need to see every single pass, okay? That's just too long. Yeah, I've done quite a bit of my hair and it definitely straightens it very, very well. I think I like it way more than like a flat iron. I've had so many troubles throughout the years trying to straighten my own hair with a flat iron. It just never really worked for me. So I am hopeful about this. So I'm gonna continue on. Let's do one in front of the screen right now. I am sweating bullets because it's hot. I have the fan on, so if you hear something, it's because it's hot as hell. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna take another one. I'm just gonna do this. Just trying to get the ends to kinda not catch so much. Um, but three passes is pretty good too. So. I'm not sure how long this is going to last in my hair because my hair obviously is naturally very curly and kinky. Um, and I live in Arizona, but it's October, so <laughs> I might be okay for this to last for a couple days. I don't have any anti-humidity spray, which I used to have in the past. So yeah, you see that? That's pretty good, right? Yeah, not bad. So, let me finish it up and we'll see the final, what it looks like. But yeah, it's not bad. All right, it's my last pass, let's do it. So, I do it three times. So it's our first one. And if there's kinks, I sometimes, you know, do the little brush here. And then, two. Actually, we only really needed two, and then I'll do a third one. Oop, I didn't even touch myself. <laughs> I didn't get burned, I'm good. So yeah, it's done. Wow, I am shocked. Like my hair never gets this straight. It's maybe like stay this straight, me doing it by myself. Like, nail over. Um, so I'm impressed. It actually works really, really well. You can't really get it. You see how I have like parts of my hair that may not be fully straight, like way deep. You see this, you know, I'm not too concerned about that. I know some ladies would be, but it's really good. And I think it took me maybe about 45 minutes. Just so like my back over a few passes. About 45 minutes. So not very long at all. Typically, if I did this with a flat iron, this would have taken me two hours, and it would not look like this. It would not, it wouldn't look like this, okay? <laughs> It'd be like, okay? Um, so I am very impressed. All right, my review is, this is amazing, especially for the price. I only paid like under $50 for this at Target because it was on sale definitely worth the price. I would use this over a flat iron any day. Thanks for watching you guys. I need to finish up with the rest of my day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.